Hello and welcome, I'm Tammy, and today we go on a transformative exploration of nonviolence. Ahimsa, a Sanskrit word often translated as nonviolence, is more than just a principle. It's a way of life, a philosophy, a guiding light toward compassion and understanding. Ahimsa is the practice of nonviolence and non harming. This principle can be applied to so many different aspects of our everyday lives. When we first think of violence, our minds often go straight to bloody scenes of gore and mutilation. But violence isn't always so apparent or grotesque. Violence can be a much more internal process as well. We don't have to outwardly murder others to be violent. Violence can often be quite subtle, actually. The practice of ahimsa includes restraint from all kinds of violence, even the seemingly innocuous kinds. Violent thoughts, words, and actions are all restricted by this principle. So to practice ahimsa, we must carefully watch our thoughts, words, and actions. Whether that means sparing the harmless bug you find in your bedroom or refraining from harmful self-talk, the practice of nonviolence applies across the board. Here are four ways you can apply the practice of nonviolence and the principle of ahimsa to your everyday life. There are several ways that we can practice ahimsa, but some are particularly important. Number one, value and cherish all life. To truly embrace nonviolence, we must view all sentient beings as valuable and all life as meaningful. This means that we shouldn't kill harmless insects or value one life above another. This means that we don't follow the Old Testament's eye for an eye mentality, but instead, Practice compassion and understanding with the lives of all beings. Number two, do no harm. Ahimsa is a practice of complete non harming, so, in order to truly follow this tenet, we must do no harm to anyone or anything. This can include refraining from violence to the planet by living a more sustainable life or adopting a vegetarian or vegan diet to not harm animals or the environment. To practice nonviolence, we cannot leave any destruction or devastation in our wake. We must consciously choose to do no harm. Number three, practice kindness. Violence doesn't always manifest physically. Violence can also manifest in our thoughts and words. So to practice ahimsa, we must diligently practice kindness toward ourselves, toward others, toward other sentient beings, toward the environment, and so on. It isn't always easy to manage our raging tempers, but we can always choose our words carefully. If we all stopped to think before we spoke when angry, the world might be a much more loving place. If we all treated ourselves with kindness and respect, there might be a whole lot less suffering. If we all cared for our bodies, nourished ourselves and our relationships, and acknowledged the precious gift of all life, then we would live in a drastically different environment. Kindness must prevail over violence, and as yogis on a spiritual path, we must uphold this practice. Number four, rewire your thoughts. The great yogic tale, Autobiography of a Yogi, perfectly expresses the internal practice of ahimsa in one of its poignant anecdotes. The author was visiting his guru when a mosquito landed on him. He quickly lifted his hand to strike the insect when he suddenly paused and thought about the concept of nonviolence the principle of ahimsa. He decided to spare the mosquito's life and, instead, brush it away. His guru, however, witnessed the entire scene and told him that he might as well finish the job because he had already killed the mosquito in his mind. This story demonstrates the true meaning of ahimsa. Ahimsa is not just an outward refrain from violence, but an inward one as well. Of course, to practice ahimsa, we shouldn't kill, mosquitoes or otherwise, but we also shouldn't even think those harmful thoughts. To truly practice ahimsa, we must purify our actions and our thoughts to live with our hearts wide open. Let us remember that true transformation begins within each of us. Let us choose kindness over cruelty, understanding over judgment, and love over indifference. Thank you for joining me on this sacred quest for nonviolence. Together, may we walk the path of ahimsa and awaken the innate goodness that resides within us all.